Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm here in snowy Amsterdam attending TP Vision's launch of their 2019 Philips televisions. And I'm standing beside the Philips 804 and also the Philips 854 OLED TVs for the year ahead. Now, the big news is that the company Philips TV has embraced and adopted Dolby Vision proprietary dynamic metadata format on their 2019 lineup of televisions. And I'm pleased to say that the 804 and also the 854 will support Dolby Vision in addition to HDR10 static metadata, the HLG or hybrid log gamma broadcast friendly HDR format and also HDR 10 plus open standard dynamic metadata format. If you remember from CES probably two weeks ago, Panasonic launched the world's first OLED TV with both Dolby Vision and HDR 10 plus dynamic metadata HDR support. And I'm pleased to say that Philips TV has now joined the camp as well. And maybe in the future, we'll get more and more companies offering TVs with multi HDR format support. But coming back to Philips televisions and the Philips 804 and also the Philips 854 will be pitched as the successor to the immensely successful 803. And you can see from the design, the 804 is very similar to the 803 with a really low profile stand and two chrome feet sticking out from the bottom, one of which carrying a Philips logo on top of it. And if we go to the 854, you can see that it has a dark chrome T-bar stand, but more importantly, it can actually be swiveled as well. I will just try swiveling it while I'm actually standing here. You can see that it can be swiveled as well. And according to TP Vision or Philips TV, this is probably the world's first OLED TV that can be swiveled. Now, I know that OLED has superior viewing angles to, let's say, LED LCDs, and maybe you don't really find the need to swivel. But for those of you who really want perfect geometry from the front, then there you go. You can have the 854 and swivel it to your liking so that you can actually watch the screen straight on within the angle of swiveling that is actually allowed by the 854. As with most Philips television, the 804 and also the 854 will feature Ambilight integrated bias lighting technology from the company and the version that has been implemented on these OLED televisions are the three-sided version at both the sides and also the top of the TV. Now, I need to stress at this moment in time that both the 804 and also the 854 will be using the same 2019 WRGB OLED panel supplied by LG Display, which is, realistically speaking, the only WRGB OLED vendor on the market at this moment in time. So they will be using the same OLED panel, the same processing, and the only difference between the 804 and also the 854 will be the design. The 804 is very similar to the 803, whereas the 854 will have this dark chrome T-bar stand with swiveling capability. Now, let's come back and talk a bit about picture quality. On the 804 and also the 854, TP Vision or Philips TV has actually implemented the third generation of P5 video processing engine. And if you look into the history of P5, the 5P actually stands for enhancement in five areas and it is done in a very specific methodical order so that it actually extracts the optimized picture quality from the source. So we have source perfection, we have contrast, we have colors, we have sharpness, and we have motion. And new on the third generation P5 video processing engine, what they are claiming is that they are adding a second chip to give a computational boost in processing power of up to 20%. We are pleased to learn that TP Vision has listened to feedback and used the extra processing power on the third generation P5 processing engine to improve the HDR presentation in three areas, namely shadow detail, highlight detail, and also posterization. If you remember from our reviews of the Philips 803 and also 903, we pointed out that at the darker end of a HDR picture, the default black level may be set too low, causing a loss of shadow detail. Also at the brighter end, there will be some clipping 
And also we saw some distinct posterization or banding at certain color tones. Well, Philips TV has listened to feedback and I'm extremely thankful to the engineers for it because for the third generation P5 processing engine, they said that they have improved the shadow detailing in darker regions for HDR content and also reduced the amount of highlight detail and color clipping in the brighter regions while also maintaining a smoother gradation throughout the color tones. So really thank you TP Vision for listening. And Philips TV really has gone on board the Dolby Vision train, but in addition, they will be also adding inbuilt Dolby Atmos decoding to the equation. And they are not actually restricting Dolby Vision to only the high end televisions. Dolby Vision will be available throughout 90% of the company's 2019 TV range, all the way down to the 6000 series. And mid range televisions actually benefit more from Dolby Vision than the high end televisions because you can let the video processing engine of Dolby Vision make up the difference on a mid range set much more than the difference, which could be very little already on a high end set. Now, the selling point of Dolby Vision is that you know you can stick to the creator's intent. It can actually reflect the creator's intent a bit better because it is an optimized dynamic metadata format that goes from the source to the end display. But Philips has their own processing source as well. And this comes in the form of the third generation P5 engine. So you can select Dolby Vision Dark Mode to maintain the original creator's intention or if you wish for a bit more smoothness, a bit less jada in terms of the 24p cadence, if you wish for a bit more boost in contrast, then feel free to use the Dolby Vision Bright Mode or even the Vivid Mode where Philips TV will be applying their own secret processing source to make the picture look even more pleasing, not necessarily true to the director's intent, but a more pleasing manner. And like I said, the choice is yours, this on the television. Now, the peak brightness has been quoted at 1000 nits by Philips TV, but I suspect that this is very likely to be in the vivid mode at a very, very small window size. And I think it is gonna be quite unlikely that at D65 on a 10% window that it can actually hit 1000 nits because we know from LG display there has been no significant improvement in terms of peak brightness and DCI-P3 color gamut coverage. And availability, the 804 and 854 will be replacing the 803. So we should expect them to become available maybe around May, June, July time. And the price again, we do not have pricing details, but because these TVs are meant to succeed the 803, the pricing should be quite similar to whatever you can buy the 803 at launch. The current flagship 903 with the Bowers and Wilkins speakers will continue to be sold for the rest of the year until IFA 2019, when its replacement will be announced. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.